I have a question. Does the picture in here? Of, <laughs> did I like cut my head off? Because <laughs> there's like a little line. No. No. No, no. there's not. No. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to season two. <laughs> I went there. I love it. We abruptly ended season one. Right. We we need to like have a second set of <laughs> um, holidays. Yeah. So that we can watch because Halloween has so many oh I movies. Can, we can it. watch some Valentine's horror movies because there's there's several. Right. That scene, I feel like we won't be able to get through all those either. We, we need just, them. like, more time. More There's not movies. enough time between holidays. We, what was the last movies we did? I don't know. What was was the it, like, was Deadly. it the French Home Alone? Well, because we were going to do a, a New Year's episode with Terror Train. Terror which we train, watched. which we watch, and it was it's wonderful, so, super good. We were just not into making an episode, so we never did. Out of cruelty to our fans, and then I'm seeing that there was like an insurrection, so we just like paused things for a while, and I yeah, had to do some parent stuff. Yeah, so we paused yeah. some things. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of life happened, but now we're back. We're back. We're doing it. Better she didn't than think ever. we would. She didn't think we would be back. I was concerned because we maybe have a little bit of a tendency to like <laughs> get into something and then never circle back, which maybe is just like the human condition. That scratching you hear is my dog who wants a treat. No reason. All didn't the time. earn a treat. The reason is he's 13 years old and he would he's like a treat. lived life this long. <laughs> Give me a treat. All the time. Um, <laughs> so we're back with Katie's pick. Your pick. This one's my pick. I picked this pick. <laughs> a family film. So, yeah. A lovely family film. It's called like lighthearted. Poltergeist. Yeah, absolutely terrifying. I mean, this was literally played in my family because it was like a kids movie. Right. I think it was very strongly viewed as a kids Spoiler movie. Spoiler alert: and No one dies in this movie, so it's not like. Well, but there's dead people. There's stakes. Spoiler alert: There's stakes, but the, no one really, no one dies except for the people that are dead. Except for the people that are dead. Mm -hmm. But they don't die in the movie, I guess. We just know right. that they died because right. they're dead. I have never watched the remake, so I don't know if anyone dies in that one. Is there a curse on that poltergeist, on the remake? Yeah, or just on the original round? No, so there's just the poltergeist curse on the original movie. And I mean, but it's Coach not turned really out fine. a curse. It's just... Carol Ann Heather O'Rourke had... A rare disease, and Dominique Dunn was brutally murdered by her psychopathic boyfriend. The, you know, when you say them together, though, it does sound cursy. Like, those are weird ways to die. Most people aren't murdered by a psychopathic boyfriend, and most <laughs> people don't have a rare, it's right it's in the like title, disease. Her and her friend, her guy friend who was studying, I think he murdered him too. I think he died. Wow. Dark. Yeah, real dark. I wonder if there's a special uh, on it from several. the ID. There oh, great. There are several. Does Joe Ken I know that. it? I don't know. So I don't know about ID, but I know, like, E, in E's heyday, when they were all, like, they True Hollywood it, yeah. Story and stuff, I they definitely have True Holiday one. Story. There is a Cursed Films series right oh. now on Shudder. How many are about. there? So there's a few, because there's... Wizard of Oz is cursed, right? Yeah, they don't talk about that. It's like oh. Poltergeist. I'm old. I don't even remember. It's Poltergeist. <laughs> that one's on there for certain. There's other. There's and other others. Ones, and I can't. Poltergeist I and more. But today we're just here to talk <laughs> about Poltergeist. A lovely family film. A lovely family film. I Katie's mean, pick. It uh, stars the Freeling family. It's. I'm all about them. Yeah, and it's incredible. They're just the uh, everyday American and family. So relatable. They have this wonderful house. He and works it's super hard for like the development company. company. 
And she's a stay-at-home mom. She's a stay-at-home. She's Joe Beth Williams fucking killing it. Yeah, she's stay great. Stay-at-home mom. She's, she's great. hot. She smokes pot. She's, like, she's cool, man. She's totally cool. She's cool. And she's really excited by, like, paranormal activity she's at super first. Excited. She's Isn't into it. it. She's Before like, I'm going to put my child on the floor in a helmet and let I'd absolutely do slide. that. She's safe. Yeah, she now. put the helmet on her, yeah. too. So that's good. Um, they're nice ghosts. They're yeah. stacking their chairs they're all funny. They're stacking chairs all. That's true. They do seem nice at the they're beginning. They're nice. And then we don't ever really know why they stop being nice. They want Carol Ann. They like oh, her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We do know. They like her blonde hair and like her, her bangs. Yeah. And her, I just think her overall essence. Huge eyes. Huge eyes. Cute squeaky, little voice. Squeaky little cute, cute little voice. voice. Yeah. She's very cute in a creepy sort of cute, cute way. Cute. It's like. <laughs> anyway. Can I have a goldfish now? <laughs> <laughs> when her yeah. bird dies. Uh, in case he's hungry, <laughs> and you're safe for if he's cold. <laughs> she's so it's weird. For nighttime. <laughs> so he's never lonely. I've stashed away this <laughs> Polaroid of me and my siblings just in case he dies. Wait until the second one, and she's still talking like that. <laughs> she's ten, <laughs> but she's playing five. Does Shirley Temple do that? <laughs> I think so. I mean, you know. This I is, think so. That she, because yeah, because she must have been like, gee, oh, I don't know well, for all, like a really yeah, long they time. They all talked like that back then, and like, everybody uh, else uh, just uh, talked uh, like that. Put it out. Put it out. <laughs> uh, state. <laughs> Why? It was just like this, like weird. <laughs> Transatlantic. Transatlantic. Thing. That's what I've the like, word I've been searching for. Thank you. New England. But then, because uh, what's her name in this movie? She has it, but she's from Los Angeles. Right. So she's totally fa Beatrice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beatrice. But like first paranormal investigator. Yeah. Not with the tangible. beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. Such pretty eyes. Beautiful. Some great eyes in this film. Carol Ann's I mean, got very bright eyes. Iconic moments in this. I mean, obviously. So Tons of my fate. One of my favorite parts of this movie is the beginning. When the dog is just walking through the house getting all the food. I love that, that too. That's what makes it's it so relatable. It's a good introduction. To the fam. Yeah. And I love it. It's just. It's lived in. Yeah. It feels lived And you in. know something about them it's all. It's familiar, yeah. Like, they're doing okay because it's a nice neighborhood, but the kids yeah. still have to share a room, so it's not, like, overly opulent. And it's, like, messy. Right, and, and the and mom like is, like, passed in. out naked on the bed. Yeah. And the dad, and the dad fell like, asleep healthy. downstairs in an easy chair. And this is it takes us back to a time where TVs ended with the national anthem. And so we hear that a lot. Yeah. It's quite a few times. And then snow. So if that's triggering for anybody. TV snow. Skip that. Um speaking of triggers, if you are epileptic, make precautions before watching this film because make those precautions. Oof, it's a doozy man. It is it it's hard is. to watch in in points because not only are there strobes, but then they're like bright light, yeah. bright yellow. I was like, yellow. should I turn more lights on in here? And, and then like make it yeah. less. It yeah. Contrasting. Uh, God, I'm gonna get words. The living Cuesta Verde. Yeah, which we should have been. We should have went to it. We, we did like a little there. movie we tour did. a few years ago, and we should have went there, and we just didn't. And now who knows when we'll ever get back. Never ever again. Mm. Or, you know. I mean, we can just do it, I think. I think we're totally <laughs> just allowed to go right now. We're we can hop in our car go. and just drive but there. Do we want to? Well, we couldn't get out. I would really like to get out of Oregon. Right. Right. Tis the season to not want to be I mean, here real sure big too. white people problems is that I haven't gone on vacation since last March. <laughs> it's hard. I went on a long weekend. You did with your brother. With my brother and, and my niece. niece. What a vacation! <laughs> I got to pick the destination, so that was Are Katie's choice. 
to Arizona with And I'm Ryan? going to Arizona with, with just Andy. Okay. Yeah. But that won't be relaxing because it's like just kind of road tripping around Arizona and sleeping effectively in a van for, a, <laughs> for four Relaxing. days. Relaxing. So lush. Such a luscious <laughs> experience. Just melt away all the stress. Lush. So we should go to Quest of Verde. We should. Um, so they're just like a great family. They love each other. Teenagers gonna teenage. The kids are gonna be kids. Um, there, so there's a lot of gay kid moments in this movie. Brian would like to talk about some gay kid moments. The brother. With the chompers. I don't know anything about the actor. I don't know if he is gay. This character is such a gay kid to me. I just really identify with this kid. He's climbing this ugly ass, <laughs> scary ass tree. Straddling it. He's sitting on it and straddling it like he really enjoys it. And <laughs> I was like, that seems like it would be painful. And Brian was like, I think it looks like he likes it. <laughs> gay kids do that shit. I have done it. <laughs> I know there are other gay kids out there that have done shit like that when they're just like, what do I do when, what happens if I put my butt like this? Like, <laughs> it happens. Then later on, he's scared of the tree because the tree brought out his true self. And so he's scared of that. Repressed sexuality. Um, the there was other ones. What was the other ones? Sleeps in a hat. Sleeps in a hat. <laughs> Gay. gay. Sleeps in a hat. I feel um, like there are gay people and then watching like, this like, <laughs> yes! In a hat. Jomini Dunn, the older sister. Because she's like, when she gets, when her boyfriend drops her off at the end and she's just screaming, screaming. I'm like, gay kid things. <laughs> and then like, when she's like, I have to go to Lisa's, I can't be here, I can't be here, I can't be here, I have to go to Lisa's. I'm like, gay. It's just like, and like when you are a gay kid, you just kind of reach for things that are, that like you identify with. So like all of that shit, gay. He identifies with that shit. <laughs> that, when he is sitting on that fucking tree, I am just like, he's all like, <laughs> and he's talking shit. He's like. When it when it disintegrates, can we bear unbury oh, yeah. it? Look at the bones, and he's all like, "Still up in that mm, twisting in that tree." Like, I'm like, "Gay." <laughs> <laughs> Gay. I feel like these are the same reasons that they would be Canadian for you. Also, like, <laughs> doesn't use a garbage can liner. <laughs> straddles trees like he likes it. Canadian, okay? Sleeps in a hat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, I can mean, spot a Canadian. <laughs> he, he sets up that creepy-ass clown doll in that fucking chair in front to of his bed. To stare at him. To stare at him. He's scared of it, but he's going to display it because that's a pretty statue. That's like a pretty doll that needs to be seen. That doll is absolutely <laughs> terrifying. Or maybe Canadian. That doll, that clown doll is like one of the reasons. It's like clown doll and Pennywise from it. Those are like the things I don't like about clown. You look kind of Amish. No, you thought I so like too. That. <laughs> like a Mennonite. <laughs> you should have that thing. That, yeah, like, like the net, little that, like mosquito yeah, yeah. net. I've never been bit by a mosquito because I believe in God. Yeah. Like truly. Uh, um, are there other gay kid things in this movie? Because I feel like there was something else, and I can't remember it. I don't remember. Uh, he is dressed. He is Oh, dressed. yeah, he does get dressed. <laughs> he nicely. gets dressed. 
And you know his mom is addressing him. I can't like keep that. the paranormal investigators are coming and this kid is dressed. Coach is falling apart. <laughs> like his face is all much prettier than earlier. Because at this Slight point Caroline has like... got sucked into the closet. Oh yeah, yeah. Because there's a whole diversion with the gay kid. We're doing a good job. That the tree smashes out the window, snatches the brother. Oh, stop (laughs) calling him gay kid. You know, that I think about it when (laughs) you were like, I think they made this tree. (laughs) (laughs) It reaches into the window. I think they might have made it. I don't think it's a real. I don't think it's a real tree. It's really Beetlejuicey that particular part, or I guess. Beetle so it takes him in a diversion because it really wants Caroline. Right. So it sucks her in. They get the Red kid, they get the brother. A MacGuffin. Ooh. Tell Ooh. me more. I I feel like it's kind of the same. Is as it the same? Red herring. A MacGuffin. Like, I. This is necessary. I need is. to know more. It is. M C G U F F I N. Have we done so. this on the show before? An object or device in a movie or book that serves merely as a trigger for the plot. A MacGuffin. And what were we talking about? The tree snatching the little brother so Carly for to get them out of the house. I see. Because it gets them out of the house and it just takes Carly. Right. So Carol Ann got sucked in. They got fabulous, fabulous paranormal investigator. Lots of hands. Greedy. Um, and her little boys that come over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. What is her name? Oh, yeah, that's oh, we her. did it. He did it. He did a good job. He did it. Good job, folks. What was her name? If you don't know by now, we're terrible with character names. Well, Brian's usually pretty good, pretty which good. I'm not saying to shame you, but to lift you up is that like, normally you're it, very good. He's, they're the Freeling family. So we got Steven, <laughs> Diane, that's the mom, Carol Ann. I don't know the brother's name. I'm sorry, I was going to internet. And then Dominique Dunn. I don't know her movie name. database. But she's going to Lisa's. Yeah, and then she's she goes going to, to Lisa's. She's like not in the movie at all. They're constantly getting no, rid of her. she's like teenager. Constantly getting rid of her. Do, do, do. What are you looking at? The name of that lady. Dr. Lesh. Dr. Lesh. That um, was worth it. <laughs> so she came in, they do <laughs> things. Put that out of sight. She's like wonderful. Oh, and she's so nurturing and she's caring. She's like so nurturing and caring, and she wants it's to sympathetic get this girl to back. this situation. I think, yeah, but I think at first she's like, "What's really first?" Going she on? doesn't believe them. I think, um, which is interesting because she's the one who investigates paranormal. Right. So is she it. like a skeptic <laughs> who's trying to disprove things? But then she's the least like uh, by the whole I know. thing. And then she's like in cahoots with Tangina, who is like wild. Right. She's wild. She's right. all about paranormal activity and like that is That's legit true. They seem to that it like exists. have a friendship or something. Like I, they yeah. or she follows her studies. Right. So I'm like what's going on? What's going on? Um anyway, so they come in and you have most importantly, I think the skin peel off scene. Yeah. And yeah. he peels his skin off. In and the, the bathroom before room. you before that you get the rotten food. Which oh really yeah. Which really me yeah, you I don't can't. like it. It's gross. Have you ever eaten food that had I, bugs in it? No, I've never eaten it. But I remember one time my mom made like a big pork chops and they were out on the counter for a little bit. Like, not like weeks or days. It was like maybe a day. And there were maggots all over it. Ugh. Sick. Disgusting. My yeah. skin is crawling right now. Mm. So Just I don't... think about Q-tip. <laughs> so I, sorry, I'm the have, worst. You're also, so nice to I me about bees. And I'm like... <laughs> I have an aversion to Q-tips. They don't like them. He doesn't like them. 
at all. No, no, no. Not ears. No. Not no. I will use them to like scour a weird. Okay, like a keyboard. Like I will, yes. Like I will use one, but it's not gonna go in my ear or in my nose. But would it go on your face, like if you did eyeliner? For an occasion. Yeah, because I think you... when I've had my makeup done, when I used to go out, and like I would have my makeup, I feel like there was like a Q-tip involved. Okay, so that was okay. But I am not, not fucking inside of you. my fucking ears with you it. You won't put it inside. Never again. Lord? I don't like it. So he does this thing where the doctor does it, and he like shoots saline mm -hmm. solution into his ear, and then makes him just lay there for mm -hmm. it to drain out. Mm -hmm. It's like not that bad. It seems bad. It's not that bad. This I don't know how they feel about doing it, but it, I, it's fine. It seems like an easy thing for a doctor to do. Like, must be the like doctors really... don't do it. No, it's the underlings not. that yeah. do it. Yeah. So I don't know how they feel about it. Still, probably one of the easiest things they have to do. Like, oh, just like a normal. I mean, at least it's just the ear. At least it's not like just, up my yeah. butt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, that would be that took. That, well, that's a totally different procedure. <laughs> so we got the rotten food. We're getting the face, face peeling, peel off. which at first looks good. I think when he jet when he like looks into the mirror, and his face is like kind of gray, and he has that scar. I yeah. think it looks good. Yeah. Then he starts pulling it, and you're like a little bit. When I was a kid, it terrified me. But I was then, like, he's pulling his yeah. face off. Now I'm like. Well, you can tell this is not, not a his face. face. Right. But then he gets some of it then off. he gets, like, the flesh off, and it looks And it good looks again. good. It's very scary. It's a good sequence. Ooh, it it's holds sickening. up pretty well. Yeah. But actually, I it's think gross. across the board, it's pretty just solid gross. effects. Yeah. Because, for the most part, they just did lighting effects, which totally works, because it's, like, a ghost, and so what else would it even be? <laughs> you know, like, lighting effects. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. And even the little ghosts that they have come out down the stairs, the, like, pretty ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. Seems. That, like, angel, heavenly angel Yeah, the ghost. heavenly angel ghost. Seems like pretty good effects. Not as good on some of the bigger, scarier I like things, the one at but the I door. Like them. Yeah. The one at the bedroom door? Yeah, when... It, I like that one. Yeah, me too. With the skinny legs. The and one that I said looked like Tommy There's Trump. that one at the end. That like pops the out skull. of the garage. The big skull. The big skull. I don't want, that one's a the little, little, it looks a little looks a little Jim Henson-y for some yeah. reason. There's a Jim Henson sort. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just, that's not. I mean, I love Jim Henson. Uh, you gotta love. Let's take Manhattan. I don't think I've seen it. I know you. We need to watch that one because when they ride the bicycles, be still his heart. <sighs> this is a gay kid thing. <laughs> it's a gay kid thing. I'm like crying about it. <laughs> um, and I mean, he was so into pop culture. That kid, alien poster. Star oh my Wars god! Show. I can't believe like, how many posters that kid had. Oh my god! It was true. I loved Burton. his room actually. He was just he all was over all the place. over the place. Loved everything. Bert and Ernie. Bert and Ernie. Bert and Ernie. Next to, uh, where he could see it from his bed as a poster. Bert and Ernie. Oh, gay kid. Things. I see gay kid things. Bert and Ernie. An alien, because like Ripley. Is I don't know. A is like one of the most amazing heroines of all time. Oh. She's a final girl. She's incredible. Gay kid things. Brian <laughs> has identified several things about these. This and movie. then like Coach Craig T. Nelson, just shirtless and looking gorgeous. Regular just, people like, thing. Like love that. 80s this is his peak. This is thing. the best. Well, except possibly Coach version of Craig T. Nelson. Yeah. Except possibly Coach. Yeah. I mean, I'll take him anyway. And get him. Right, but, but you know, if you were gonna pick, and I mean, I like of, love Coach. I don't know if I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go with Poltergeist Craig T. Nelson because 
He's wearing those like little shorts and no shirt. He doesn't wear little like, shorts and no he shirt. Does he wear shorts, Coach? No. Doesn't he always have pants on? I wasn't allowed to watch Coach. Of course he weren't. Because he crazy. dates a woman in it. <laughs> Not in this house. There's no fucking He dates dating. a woman. He has an adult daughter. Can't watch it. <laughs> in a, uh, adult, humor. <laughs> adult humor. Adult humor. So that is similar to look, but don't touch stores. You know, where you can't touch anything. Mm -hmm. Just only <laughs> breakable. Okay. I wasn't allowed to do a lot of stuff. Okay. I thought you were talking, and I thought you were talking about like a like a lingerie section in a store no. too, where like you couldn't <laughs> touch. Don't look at it. Don't touch it. Either. Neither of them. <laughs> Don't walk by that section. We're not even gonna take you to that section. This is a package <laughs> of Hanes, and you don't <laughs> like it. Actually, I had day of the week underwear, and I made my mom go to Macy's or my Myron Frank at the time with me and, like, hunt them down. I wanted them bad. Day of the week underwear was a thing. My mom was, like, with the cashier, and she's like, she's looking for day of the week underwear. <laughs> and she's like, day of the week underwear? <laughs> it was, like, such entertainment for them. And then, like, you wear them on the wrong day. Right. Did you do that? No, I liked to wear them like, on the right day. But then, like, there would always be the girls that wore them on the wrong day. Or, um, like in, what's that movie with Billy I wear Crystal my and Friday Meg Ryan? Monday. Hmm? What's that movie with Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan? When Harry Met Sally. When Harry Met Sally, and Sally's I like, forgot that. I don't know what's, <laughs> I do know what's wrong with me. Rom-com queen. Yeah, I know it, and I'm sorry. Is that when we do this exact thing, but for rom coms, <laughs> um, I'll do better. Okay, so the point is, is that she's talking about her day of the week underwear, and she broke up with her, or her boyfriend broke up with her because he thought that she'd lost Sunday at some other guy's house. But apparently, they don't make a Sunday day of the week underwear because of Jesus. Oh, is that true? I don't know. I can't remember if my underwear <laughs> had a Sunday or not. I think it did. Anyway, so I don't know what the point of the tangent was. Day of the week underwear was a thing. Um, so poltergeist. <laughs> that was a totally so on a topic face thing. peeling. I there's some tennis is. balls because they need to with see his handwriting they, on. Yes. It, oh, yeah. That they opened a portal. Oh, but we brought in, what's her name? Did we talk about? Oh, Tangina in? comes in. So, yeah. Dr. Lesh. Is it Lesh? Lesh. I just feel like I'm going to say, Dr. Lecter. Dr. Lecter. Dr. Lecter. <laughs> I didn't mean to go a little Christian. Dr. Lecter. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Lecter. Have you seen Silence of the Lambs? Yes. Oh. But, like. Because that. Maybe only on TV. That is a Valentine's movie. Oh, we should watch it's it. It's not set during Valentine's Day, but it was released on Valentine's oh. Day. So that is that. <laughs> Peculiar. <laughs> so, because I do that a lot. Because, like, I watch The Faculty for Christmas every year. I watch The Faculty. Because it was released. It was released on Christmas Day. For Christmas. And I saw it in theaters on Christmas Day, so it's like a Christmas movie to me. For you, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Um, are you going to do it? No. I oh. think you might do it. Don't look at her. <laughs> She's going to go for it. I can feel it. Well, I feel like we should keep talking. I know. I feel bad. I'm going to lift him up, though, because now he's not going to do it. Here, I'll yeah. put you up there. Yeah. Get him up there. He's 13. Big boy. He's 13. <laughs> so, Dr. Lesh brings Tangina You in. are so close to saying Dr. Lecter. I know, Dr. Lecter. I keep thinking you're going to say Dr. it. Dr. Lecter. Okay, Dr. Lesh. sorry. Dr. Lesh. Uh, oh my gosh. So, Tangina's there. Her and Coach are not hitting it off. 
They oh, yeah, because he's like, I'm sending her a message he's with trying to my get her mind. Read, read his mind. <laughs> and she's uh, like, I did hear it, but I just don't appreciate And she's not taking his shit. It's based in answers or some shit So, like yeah, so there's stuff with tennis balls and portals. And goo, and so much like so jam. So much goo, so much, what do you call that? Ectoplasm? Ectoplasm. Ghostbusters. Good job. Um, I never saw the new Ghostbusters. I never watch it. I'm not a huge Ghostbusters no, fan. No, me either. <laughs> one or the two. The first one's fine. Watchable. The Is that the one Sigourney the, Wiener? Yeah. Weepers in? Wiener. Sigourney Wiener. <laughs> Sigourney Wiener. Yeah, and... Um, That's a good drag name. And uh, Rick Moranis. And Rick. And a good cast. Is it's Rick Moranis fine. not in the second one? I don't know. The second one is terrible. I don't and I, I mean, I owned the I think I've only watched the second one once, and it's awful. When uh, Josh I like and I cartoon. moved down. I love the cartoon. The cartoon's great. I had to, like, t give him extra to take Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Just, like, like it's fine. <sighs> yeah, I don't so know I why like, people, like, love them. I know, and they hated that last one because it had women in it. And so Boo. they had to make a new one that has men in it. But I heard the one with women in it was funny. I heard that too. I never watched it. Neither, because I, I didn't like, care about care. Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. But I did like those that the the I movies the, that made us about it. Yeah. It was a good. I like. Movie. Well, I like when they talk. I like hearing people talk about movies. So. Yeah. And I don't know why I'm glaring. <laughs> he likes to hear people talking about me. And I was like really like <laughs> like some people. This fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch her <laughs> 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 So then you know what? She does succeed in getting Carol Ann out. Yeah, so, so there's she's like not completely she. So that's a great moment because Tangina is like gonna tie this rope around her. <laughs> this is the best moment and of the whole go movie. into go into this void void this Light. other de the death dimension. Yeah. I don't even the know. dream death dimension. Um, Pretty much yeah. lives there. And God, I almost called her Mary Beth. Joe Beth Williams is like, no, I'm gonna do it. What's she won't come to movie? you, Diane. Diane. Um, she won't come to you. I'll go. I'll do it. And um, she's like, "You, uh, you never, you done, never this done this before. before. Neither have you." She's like, "Good point. Good point. You go. You go. <laughs> it's so funny. It's wonderful. I love it." Um, and Coach is like, "No, don't do it." And she's like, "I gotta do it." And so she does it. And she gets Carolina out, and they're covered in goo. Thirty-two minutes and fifty-eight know, like, you're, seconds. You're, you're, I don't want to lose I, my place in time, <laughs> stickler. Stickler for that. Um. So they're out. And this house this is, is clean. clean, except there's a lot of goo on them that they right. get them to the bathtub. Oh yeah. That happens. So they put them in the bathtub. Because they weren't start, breathing. But yeah, then just like, being in a little water, water seemed to solve that. It revives you, I guess. They must have had the bath ready, too, because the water seemed to be in there. But yeah. they really took their sweet I guess they had, like, a warm bath ready, but I... Right. Do we there remember? There was so the much video? ghost activity, wouldn't it just be cold? I'm sure it was cold by <laughs> that time. Right? Because, like, water right? doesn't take that long to stop no. being hot. And... I mean, Unless there's like I've done Ouija board sessions, and we <laughs> always put like a bowl of water, of hot water, and I mean... What do you need the bowl of hot water for? Well, because we would always test it. So we would have a bowl of hot water, yeah, and to see how fast it turned cold, because ghosts make shit cold. Oh, I don't think I've ever Ouija boarded. Oh, I, probably I don't know if I'll ever do it in this house. Oh. It it's like a, scares oh, me. In this house. It's like you and certified freak. I mean, because of like stuff with Barry. Right. I don't want to. But he wouldn't like, be haunting you. But they would <laughs> use him against me. Oh. 
I don't understand enough about Because you open ghosts. doors. You open doors. Pandora's box. You I open do. doors. To the spirit. Mm -hmm. Don't they close after the Ouija mm -hmm. board is closed? You want to think they do. Oh. Well, what good is the board then? I have it, though. It's in this house. Oh, we could do it at my house. <laughs> Who knows who's died there? How about tons of people have died there? Just like old ladies always dying there. That's, That's a fun little party trick. Yeah. We should do it. Um, we should do it on an episode. It's a good idea. <laughs> well, um, so this house is clean. And they start like packing up. Moving Immediately out. they're like not any not, like, fuck not this doing, house. Oh, and there were all the skeletons. Oh yeah, because there's uh that doesn't happen to happen yet. That hasn't happened yet. Oh you're right. I'm sorry. It so we're not, getting it there. Hasn't, it hasn't happened yet. We're getting, there's a pool scene. There is like a earlier pool thing when he right. goes in the pool. When he goes he just, and he dives he in. He unnecessarily dives into to like three feet like of water. Pool. It was it's um, so weird. And you know what? It seems unsafe. It's not so like it's like clean. Tall. The house is clean. They're moving out. He's got to go do stuff. So he's going to come home back home later. And then they're going to leave and stay at. The Holiday Inn. The Holiday Inn. On like Inn. Route 5. Is right. that what he says? He right. says like, or she says that. Yeah. She says that we're staying at the Holiday Inn on Route something. Um. So, I mean, everything's fine. She's got the kids in bed. The kids uh, got his Dominic creepy. Dunn goes to Tom's house, I think. Her white friend. Yeah. She's done at least says. Going over to the uh, boyfriend's house. I thought Brian's his name was house. Brian. Is it Brian? Is it I Brian? think it's Brian. Comment below. Um, all is well. She's taking a bath. Why did I think that the water turned to blood in this movie? What movie does that happen in? I mean, when they turn on the water and it's blood? Several. I is thought it, it happened Amityville? In this... Is there bloody water in Amityville? There's lots of blood in The Shining. Turn on faucet with blood? There's lots of blood in it. No, I haven't seen it. But I have seen The Shining. Because there's no bloody water in this. No. And I really thought it was going to happen when she was filling up the tub. But she's it... fast. She's laying down in bed. Oh my god. And then Caroline the is like going to the scariest bed. scene of and the like, whole movie, the, I think. The brother with his displayed clown doll out on that chair. Scary. You're packing scene. shit up and you don't pack that clown doll away. I know that we wouldn't have this scene if they packed that clown doll away. That's but... a McGuffin. A McGuffin. <laughs> a McGuffin. <laughs> it moves the plot along. Um Anyway. Yes, I seriously, right. it was so scary. And you so know it's going like, to happen. He's like, tries to throw his jacket over the yeah. clown, which again, he put there. So just like move the clown. Move the clown. Put him in the closet. Dummy. Dumb kid. Um, he just seems like zero common sense. If you threw your jacket on, wouldn't you give it another try? Wouldn't you do something? Else? <laughs> anyway, he looks back again at the clown. After he's like kind of drifted off to sleep, yeah. and, and the clown is gone. gone, because of course it fucking is. So this kid, he look. has to look under the under bed. the bed. Who don't do that? that. Get out of the room. I don't do that now. I Get do something weird, and I'm like, I'm not looking under the bed. I'm gonna pretend to be asleep. <laughs> That'll if save you my cover life. your whole body with your covers, you are safe. You're safe. No one can see you. No one. Will Everyone touch you. knows that. <laughs> Duh. Dumb kid. Um, anyway, he comes back up. Back up, and that fucking clown doll's <laughs> face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's it, so scary. Its face is fucking terrifying, and then it like grabs, grabs its like, creepy little arm around that, his neck. Those like a arms. boa constrictor oh, I arm. Like it. No. He drags him like under the bed. Right? Yes. And he starts screaming. And he's screaming. And Diane is like, here's her, her kid. 
No, it she's is. laying on the bed at this point. Because oh, she, she, she tries to get up. She goes laying down and she's trying to get up because she's hearing him screaming. But and then the spirit just, is like, trying to rape her as far yes, as I can tell. I mean, that's a thing in ghost movies. Ghost rape. Yeah. <laughs> it's not... You couldn't protect so, yourself. It's like that. alluded to in this one, but it gets pretty graphic in other ones. If something's alluded to, is it an illusion? Yes. <laughs> illusion. Illusion. It's an illusion. Um, so she, but she gets out of her room. Right. She's like fighting it. Fighting it. And then she, she tries to go to the kids' it. room. And all the doors are slamming yeah. shut and she can't get any of them open. She's been electrocuting her. Zap, which then they throw her and down the, the stairs, stairs and, and then she tries to like, grab the rails and, and it electrocutes her off. she's like, having a bad day she gets in the backyard yeah gets in the backyard and, and she, is trying to do something over do where something. the bird was buried yeah but she falls but she falls into, into the, pool. the pool and like I think there's some real skeletons in this oh scene. yeah I think I've heard that that because there are real skeletons I think because that's cause part of the reason for the curse. Movie, but it, yeah, and but they I think just bought movie skeletons. Studios use real skeletons because right. it's cheaper to get real skeletons than fake skeletons. What if you donated your body to Hollywood to be I think used that's in a like movie? People do Don't that. you think people could do that? You can donate your body to science, yeah. and there's a chance that your body will end up in this giant field decomposing in right. some kind of random, because it's right. like they're studying decomposition through Well, science. and like, I mean, There's a chance all of those that. skeletons, I mean, you had skeletons in health class, right? Yeah, yeah. They're all real. Real. In high schools. Boring. I remember I this being like such be in a, a movie. big deal that they were real skeletons. Who would like, rather be in a movie? Well, Hollywood uses that all the time. Like, I have one in my high school health class. I keep thinking you're going to say you have one. <laughs> like, I wish. I have, like, kind of looked around. <laughs> it must not be hard to get a skeleton. I think you can find them at, I think they're at, like, I think they randomly pop up, like, Goodwills and Salvation Armies, but. That's a creepy way to get one. Mm-hmm. But I think also cheap. Get to know an old doctor, like a really old doctor who has a skeleton in his <laughs> office. Like, so he'll die. No, and then no. I can just take a skeleton. And then when he's retiring, you can just ask for the skeleton. Yeah. Plus, old doctor. Old doctor. I feel old like doctor. you'd love that. Daddy doctor. Doctor, doctor daddy. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so she is like. For you. That's the kind there of are daddy coffins pop. Coffins popping up out of this yeah, pool. Yeah, they really bury there people in interesting ways. There are just tons of skeletons. She's fucking screaming. It's Losing boring. her mind. And then her dumb fuck <laughs> neighbors come over. And like, get her out of the pool. So good. But they're dumb. Because they don't want to have anything to do with Which her. Which is kind of reasonable. <laughs> I mean, they're like, she's in a pool. She's fucking screaming. Her the, kids like, are screaming. The kids are screaming. There's like lights flashing epileptic episodes there's like they don't they're like Fuck you. the so, ground is like cracking and stuff around yeah, them isn't yeah. it too because the coffins are yeah up. and like so she gets back inside and she's able to run up the stairs she gets to the door she's able and to in open their room the, door. the closet door has like ectoplasm like in it. Oozing out like of it. Like in a tunnel yeah. shape. Um, a giant dog ghost monster pops out from the door. It's over when it's over. <laughs> <laughs> and like she freaks out. She, But she's able to open the door. Right. I and don't know how because before it was like impossible. Yeah, so but she whatever. opens the door. But, and there's like a crazy she screams, amount like, of stay wind. away from my babies. So yeah. I think that gives her the power. The power. To open the door and it's like there's It's just like crazy she opens wind. the door on a plane in the sky. Right. 
the kids Wait. are like hanging on to the bed. She's like flying They're into in the, the room, air. legs yeah. crazy. She is holding on to the door jam, and she gets the brother. I Why keep don't wanting know to say his name, gay kid, because I keep <laughs> wanting to say gay kid. The brother. She gets the brother's hand. And Oliver. She, Oliver? Is that his real name or his name in the no, movie? No. You have to look it up. I mean, you can't not because you have to. Um, so then the brother gets Carol Ann's hand. Robbie. Robbie. Robbie does it. So then she, Mary Jo Beth Williams, Diane, <laughs> she just like mom pulls it's just out. She yanks just them. Yanks them and they get into the hallway. And then they're out and they go like running out of the house. Out of the house. And then Craig T. Nelson is there. Oh, Craig he's T. already Nelson's pulled up. Pulled up. He sees that shit is going down. His boss has also pulled up because I think his boss is trying to get him to not quit. Right. Because he's uh -huh. a terrible employee and has not been to work in over a month. So, and like, so he's they're trying to promote him. All, yeah, trying to promote him, give him a big bay window at another free land house, as with far as they can A go. different cemetery than that the one moved. that this is on. The headstone, um, <laughs> which we saw earlier in the But film. not the bodies. Not the bodies. Um, so he's trying to get in the house, but then fucking coffins are popping pop, up. Pop. They're trying to run out of the house. Coffins are popping up. Terrifying. Um, door is closed, and she's like, Stephen, help us. And the door slams. It's a good thing he keeps the car keys on him for that car. Right. Because he was driving like a company truck or something. Or is that just his car? That's the boss's car, right? Isn't the is it the one I that thought he, he was driving the station wagon. Yeah, oh. I thought he hit, I oh. thought the truck was his. Or is I it thought not? he pulled, well, you know what, Maybe not in important up. detail. They drive Obviously, away, we start to drive away. Obviously, we pay a lot away. of attention to right. movies we well, watch. They start um, to drive away, and that's when um, Dominique pulls up. Yes. When she gets, she, from and just, Brian and Tom. Tom is so like Brian. Trans Am. Yeah. And we, she just starts screaming, what is going on? And she's screaming, and, she's and she's screaming. just standing, and she's And they're like, screaming. get in the car! And the little brother's <laughs> like, like, leave, leave dad! Drive, just leave, drive! drive. Like, and she's screaming, Robbie. she finally gets her wits about her, and gets, gets in, in the car. car. Um, and then... But they're, then, they are driving away, and they're like coffins crazy. popping up in the middle of the street. And the lights everywhere. are, like, the lights are blowing up, and the, the... Like, uh, the... Thing with the Fire hydrant. Water. The fire hydrants blow. So good at And, that. like, there's lots of flickering lights and shit. And then the house, like, kind of floats up. And like yeah, and then like compacts, crumples, like you're into, crumpling yeah. a piece of paper. And disappears. Pretty solid effects. As everyone's watching it happen in yeah. the neighborhood. Which is weird because I think there was a tornado. Like, there was a tornado when she was and outside. And they're like, everybody outside. There's like a tornado happening yeah. because of the ghost. It's a ghost tornado. Very weird. Ghost Polter tornado. Geist, Poltergeist tornado. Poltnado. Poltnado. That sounds like a little so this potato. Movie is a classic. It's iconic. Oh, they get to the they get to the Holiday Inn and they get in their room. They're fucking exhausted. And Coach, and then Coach comes along. He opens that door again and he wheels that fucking that TV, TV out. Because they don't need that. In there. Not ever again. So, and that's how it ends. This movie is fantastic. It's really good. And to anyone who has ever posted on a board and said they just discovered this cult, incredible a cult, cult movie. classic. <laughs> that, or no. like Has anyone heard of it? That they they ran across out of pure happenstance. <laughs> it's such a small budget. My film. reaction was Dominic Dunn. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> anyway, kids are stupid. Um, so I think there's like a big elephant in the room here because Toby Hooper is the director of this movie. Steven Spielberg is the producer of this movie. You can't turn it off. <laughs> um, 
But there's just a lot of talk that Steven Spielberg directed right. this movie. And it is and so I mean, much I think that like close encounters. Toby in Hooper. Point. There's kind. definitely Toby Hooper in this movie, judging from other stuff I've seen him do. There is Toby Hooper it's stamp also on this not, movie. Not Indiana Jones. But if it is not influenced by Steven Spielberg being on set every day except for like two. Right. I don't even know what to say because he missed he like two days on set because there was a big thing happening on E.T. So he was there, but he was on this set but every e. day. But E.T. he actually directed. Yes, but he was on this set every day. Oh. So if he did not influence the direction of this movie, I don't know. Then however mm. those sentences are. So we're going to watch two and three? I don't know. We should and watch the remake? two and three. I'll watch the remake. Never watched yeah, it. We should watch the remake. I think Sam because Rockwell was in it. I like the, him. Uh, night, Friday the Thirteenth remake. It I wasn't liked as it. Bad. The Nightmare on Elm Street remake, however, is bad. bad. <laughs> it's bad. Bad. It's bad. It's not good. No, but Bye. it's not as bad as Six. Freddy's dead. I mean, you think it's uh, on par. I think it's on par. I'm going to put Freddy's Dead slightly above it because... I wouldn't put it above it. Well, because it's Robert England. Oh, okay. That's like, I mean, That's it's Robert it. England gets it. The real Freddy gets yeah. it. Yeah. But it's such a... I mean, it, it's bad. Anyway. I think you can stop this one now. That's what I said. <laughs> like, two seconds ago.